My name is Scott McLeod. Um, I'm a multimedia artist. My focuses have been primarily in painting, but I've also had a strong interest in photography, uh, animation, documentary film, and I also work in the school system doing music education. Will the Empress rise again? What I've always been an advocate for is uh, using art as a form of outreach, as a vehicle for change in education. So working with community-based projects, for instance, we're here at the Old Mission Brewery right now, and this was a program set up by a fellow named James Hughes a number of years ago, and it's a two-fold project. It's really designed to help uh, the artist uh, get, you know, by exhibiting their work here, they receive an honorarium, and at the same time, they're enhancing uh, people's uh, quality of life. This body of work is called uh, Meeting with a Goddess. Uh, the work was uh, derived from a book I had read uh, by uh, uh, Jean Bolin. Uh, she was a Jungian analyst and she was working with the female archetype from the Greco-Roman pantheon. And it, as, a, as a therapist, the idea was she wanted women to find their, uh, I guess their sort of power totems in a way, like you know, who are the goddesses that best personify their personalities and so forth. So inspired by that, I started doing a series of photographs uh, of my subjects and it evolved into uh, paintings and drawings after. So I both worked in photography and painting on this series. As it stands, I probably photographed about 50 men, 50 women and uh, we'll keep doing it. I'm fortunate that I have uh, s uh, such a diverse uh, skill set which enables me to adapt to the subject matter and the themes that, I, that I'm exploring. When I'm dealing with life history, for instance, documentary, just an animation, seem most fitting for that, that type of investigation or type of work. Uh, whereas, say, a uh, body of work I did on the Lachine Canal lent itself to photography and drawing and painting very well. I'm a big uh, fan of storytelling, uh, from the novel to cinema to uh, the storyteller around the campfire. I'm particularly drawn to our everyday people and, and with their stories. I think there's, uh, there's value in that. Yeah, one doesn't have to be a celebrity to have a great story to tell. Hanalore was a client of mine. I met her about 15 years ago here in Montreal. Uh, she took a great interest in my work. Uh, my parents both actually died uh, very young, uh, so my relationship with Hanador became sort of like a mother-son kind of relationship. And what I found particularly interesting is she was born in Berlin in 1945. So as I got to know her, I would ask her, what was it like growing up in Berlin in 1945? You must have been born during the Allied bombing campaign, so on and so forth. About, a lot of information about her personal history started to come through. It was an ice-cold winter. My mother was in labor. There were hardly any taxes, but luckily, my father had appeared from the underground where he was hiding after he had escaped from a Russian hospital. We shot seven vignettes of her life from 1945 to 1989 with the collapse of the wall on location. And uh, I uh, sort of told her story in 22 minutes. It was a huge challenge. But it introduced me to something I'd never done before, which was animation. And that came about because I no longer had, as, as one knows in film, you run out of budget uh, very quickly. So it was an epiphany moment, about 3 in the morning. Uh, I said, I'll just animate the archive images that I can't buy. A lot of art, people in the arts could appreciate the idea of available life. You work with what you have, and with what you have, you can, you can find great innovation, you can find novelty, you can find... And you have to be open to that experience. And that's a process I've come to as an older artist. Je suis très curieux euh, de le patrimoine québécois euh, franco-canadien. Alors, euh, j'écris des chansons en français, des, des projets en français. Nous sommes placés dans un endroit très, très curieux. Puis, euh, ça, ça, ça donne l'invitation d'être curieux et de regarder plus profondément nos, nos liens ancestrales et comment nous sommes devenus un pays, un peuple, etc. 